Welcome to another episode of Up and Running with Lacework. My name is Scott Ford, and I'm Principal Architect here at Lacework. In today's episode, I'm going to take you through the steps of how easy it is to integrate an AWS account with Lacework for continuous configuration assessments of the resources you have deployed in your AWS account, as well as integrating an existing cloud trail with Lacework for continuous API behavior analysis. We're going to do this all with the Terraform modules that Lacework produces for AWS. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to start this walkthrough off, first and foremost, you should already be familiar with the Terraform provider for Lacework. If you're not familiar with that, we also have another episode of Up and Running with Lacework that explains how to get started with the Terraform provider for Lacework. You're going to need an API key. You need to configure that. We recommend using the Lacework CLI, the command line interface, to get all of your configuration set up. And so we'll add some links in the show notes down below for you to check this out. If you haven't seen this out, this is on the Lacework blog. You can go through these steps right now, but we're expecting that you've already got the Lacework CLI installed, an API key, and you're ready to go. Of course, also, you're going to need to have Terraform installed. We support Terraform version 12.26 and higher, so that's the latest 13 or 14. Any of those should work, but unfortunately, anything before that we do not support. The reason being is because we publish all of our Terraform projects to the Terraform registry, and Terraform version 12.26 is the last version that you can use to actually pull these modules and the provider from the registry. So we're going to require that you have that already. Now, Everything that we publish, it's always up here on the registry. Also, all of the projects themselves, the, the Git repositories where we do the develop, they're all open source. So you can always find on github.com slash lacework right here. I'm just searching for Terraform and you can see these are all the modules that we're producing as well as the Terraform provider itself. These can always be found up here on uh, our GitHub site. We've got the up and running with the Terraform provider for Lacework, expecting you have that all set up. The steps that I'm going to go through as well, these are also published as a blog post up here. So if you get stuck on any steps or uh, miss anything, you can always review this blog post as well. This will also be in the show notes. All right, so I'm basically just going to follow along with what we're doing here right now. So I've got the prerequisites. I've already got a... Uh, uh, Lacework account here. So this is a demo account. You can see right now, if I go to the settings, I don't have any integrations I don't, with, with AWS or any other cloud providers right now. So this is my own sub account inside of a larger organization that we have inside. And, um, and I've also got an AWS account over here that we're going to integrate. Now, the way that these modules work uh, the Terraform modules for AWS is first and foremost, we have to get, we're going to integrate my, uh, an AWS account for continuous configuration assessments. And for that, there are two modules out on the Terraform registry or in our GitHub account that has, uh, the first one is Terraform AWS IAM role. This um, this module, all it does is create an IAM role with a cross-account policy for Lacework that uh, we will use to assume that role um, uh, and, and be able to uh, and pull configuration assessments from the AWS account. To do that, we use a AWS managed security policy called security audit. Uh, and so the, the second module that we use is called Terraform AWS config. All this module does is attach that security audit to the existing IAM role. And so we're gonna start off there and we're gonna get that configured. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so switching over to my editor here, I've got VS Code up. I'm just checking really quickly. Of course, I've got Terraform already installed. Uh, I'm on version 14.8, 15 just came out. So uh, I also have the Lacework uh, CLI installed and uh, I'm running the latest version of that as well. So if I run Lacework INT list, you can see I've already got it configured and I'm hitting that, uh, that account that we just I showed you in the, in the last section here. So first things first is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new file and it's uh, main.tf. 
or Terraform. And switching back over to uh, the blog post here, you can see we've got all the code snippets that, that I'm going to use are up on this blog post right here. So I'm going to go ahead under this first section where it's AWS configuration and compliance. We're going to go ahead and we're going to copy and paste this into that main TF file. All right. And uh, we want to go ahead, I'm going to put the region of my, uh, where I have the existing cloud trail already deployed. I won't really need it for this section, but uh, US West 2 is the, where the, it's actually deployed up. I'm going to hit save. And the first thing that we need to do once the code is copied in uh, is we're going to run the command terraform init. And this is going to go out to the Terraform registry. It's going to pull down any of the dependencies. So I've got a dependency on the AWS provider, and that has its own dependencies, as well as our, uh, our dependency on the Lacework provider. And so it's going to go ahead and pull those down. Now, this line right here of config is the only thing you need to do to get that configuration assessment set up. So I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to run the command terraform apply. And that's going to, uh, it's going to go out and it's going to connect to my AWS account. It's going to tell me it's going to set up here. Uh, it's going to create a new uh, IAM role. It's going to attach some policies to it. And uh, it's then also going to connect to Lacework and configure this integration with Lacework. So we're going to go ahead and type yes. It's going to run through now. Cool. And with that, uh, the Terraform has completed. It says it's added six new resources, zero change, zero destroyed. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it's done. So if I switch over to my AWS account and I look under, I'm now in identity and access management, and I look under roles here. If I search for LW, you can see that uh, Lacework has created, uh, Terraform has created a new role here, which is LWIM, and there's a unique identifier here. So if I click on that, we can look and see that uh, this has got the security audit role set up, as well as if we look under the trust relationships, you can see that this is the Lacework account and that we have an external ID, a unique external ID that Lacework will use to connect to this AWS account and to, uh, to be able to assume that role and then pull the security, uh, the security audits. Now also back over in Lacework now, if I look under cloud accounts, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and refresh this. Uh, look, we can see that Lacework already has this configured. The integration is pending, but that should just take a couple of minutes before it reaches out and, uh, and pulls in that integration. We'll check on that in just, again, in just a minute after we integrate uh, the cloud trail. So with that, you should be good to go. You can always validate to using the Lacework CLI. So if you run the command Lacework uh, INT for integration list, you'll see now we've got our, uh, our TF config is enabled and it's in a check state right now. So it should be resolved pretty soon. Okay, so now we're gonna move into integrating an existing cloud trail with Lacework. This example cloud trail uh, is, is running inside of this account here. When you deploy out a CloudTrail, you have an option of deploying out an SNS topic with that CloudTrail. Now, this is not required, but for Lacework, we do require that there is an SNS topic. And if there is an SNS topic already configured in your account, you can integrate that existing SNS topic. Um, you don't have to deploy out one with the Terraform modules for AWS. But for this particular example, we're going to go ahead and assume that you don't have an SNS topic deployed. We're going to deploy out that SNS topic. And uh, now one of the, the, the reasons why we're doing this particular example is when you don't have an existing SNS topic, you actually need to manually attach it to a cloud trail. So we're going to go through those steps as well. All right, so, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to deploy this out. Now, this particular integration also uses um, this Terraform module, Terraform AWS cloud trail module. And this particular module is um, 
uh, what it does is it can it has a number of different scenarios. We can deploy out new cloud trails. We can integrate existing cloud trails like we're going to do. We can use an existing SNS topic. We can um, we can deploy out a consolidated cloud trail or integrate a consolidated cloud trail. So all of those examples are here as well as uh, the documentation on support.lacework. Um, for this, let's see. We're so uh, so now all we need to do is we're going to uh, copy in this module to the to the main.tf we used in the last section. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that code snippet, move back over here under our module, our config module. I'm going to paste it. All right, with this module copied in, all we need to do is we need to get the, uh, the bucket ARN and the bucket name for where these cloud trail logs are being shipped. So back over in AWS, I'm going to go ahead and copy my ARN for the S3 bucket where, where we're sending CloudTrail logs to. Go ahead and we'll copy and paste that into place here. And you can see this is just the bucket name right there. Copy that and paste it into place. All right, so this is all set up now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run Terraform init again, because this is a new module. So we need to pull that down from the Terraform registry as well. And that's been initialized. And we're gonna go ahead and run Terraform apply. All right, and with that, Terraform has completed updating and we have 11 resources added, zero changed and zero destroyed. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this Terraform apply did within the AWS account. All right, so back inside of AWS now, if we look, uh, we're gonna go ahead back over to CloudTrail and we can see all right, so back over in CloudTrail, if I look at now at my example trail, if I click edit and scroll down to SNS topic, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click enable, and we're gonna choose use an existing SNS topic. And here is the topic that we just created. It's lacework-ct for CloudTrail-SNS and with a unique string as well. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click save changes. Uh, additionally is uh, when, Lacework will also deploy out an SQS queue for us to be able to read messages off of. So this is all configured for Lacework. This was deployed out inside the account. And the last thing that we'll take a look at now is back over in IAM is the IAM role that we deployed for the configuration integration is also been updated. So if we search for LW, you can see here, now, if we look at the policies, there is a custom cross-account policy that Lacework uses for this integration. And all of this information is here. All right, the last piece of this, of course, is to take a double check at our cloud account integration. So I'm gonna start off in the UI. Now click on cloud accounts, and you can see that we have both now the Terraform config integration that we're using for AWS, as well as that existing cloud trail. And both are in a success state. So they're both successfully integrated. The, the other way we can validate this configuration is using the Lacework CLI again. So we'll go ahead and clear the screen and I'm gonna run Lacework INT list. And we can see now that we've got the cloud trail and the configuration assessments uh, integrated into Lacework. And the easy thing too, if you're just testing this out is Terraform is really simple. If you need, want to tear this all down and start over, we can just run the command Terraform destroy and Terraform will remove all of those resources from both the AWS account, as well as the integration from Lacework itself. Okay, so Terraform has finished destroying. And if I run the command now, Again, Lacework INT list. You can see both of those integrations have been removed from Lacework. If I come back over here into 
uh, my AWS account and search for LW. Actually, excuse me. Go ahead and run a refresh here of that role. And we look for LW. We can see that IM role has now been removed from the account. Okay, so again, all of these steps that we've outlined here are on the blog post. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to Lacework Support. Hopefully this got you up and running with the Terraform modules for AWS, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode.